Hello and welcome to a new video about animating a crank drive. Alright, last time we animated already the crank drive. However, as I said, we, we are doing calculations twice or three times, uh, whatever. And I really do not like this. I really do not like also this, 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 this pinging. Alright, that I have to ask every 0 0.2 seconds the thing work server for new values. I really don't like this because most of the time this is simply not not meaningful. Yeah? However, I have not found a way around this. Yeah? I have found a way around calculating with those filters, calculating every everything twice. Okay. So last time we added. We added this, this read, uh, get property values, uh, and we used this encoder value from our encoder here uh, as rotation of a crankshaft. And the crankshaft rotation is okay, it's just an assignment. However, the rotation of the piston rod was calculated out of the encoder value, the position of the piston rod was calculated out of the encoder value, and the position of the piston was also calculated after, out of the encoder value. And the, the angle uh, of the piston rod, it was calculated three times actually, yeah? where one time would be enough. Usually we do have the issue that we want to react on a change of this encoder value, all right? So we, we only have to calculate this whenever this encoder value, the, the angle is changing. If it's not changing, there's no need to animate or move something like here. Yeah? And we want to calculate all values and that's it. That's it actually, okay? So what, what I'm going to do is I add some, some Per, uh, application parameters. Okay. Application parameter I will call piston position. Yeah? Add. Yeah? And I will call application parameter it is piston rod angle. Add. Okay, I and I want to calculate these values only in case the encoder value has been changed. So actually, what I'm doing yeah, is I'm adding in JavaScript here this JS. Yeah, I'm adding something, all right, and I am adding here a so-called watch. So dollar scope. It's always starting with dollar scope. And now I'll add a dollar watch. Okay, watch. I watch something. I watch a variable. Yeah? And now I have to enter which variable I want to watch. All right, that's written here. And then in case something is changing, I want to execute a function. This would be the statement, okay? This is actually the statement. This is how, how this looks like, okay? I will add this to the next line, yeah? Because which, which thing do I have to watch? Yeah? Here, it's helping to look at this model, yeah? Here we have this, actually, this is the, this is the value I want to watch. Okay, this is the way you want to watch. I copy this. This way I want to watch, please. Okay, and if this is changing, I want to execute something. Okay, and if this, if this uh, execution, well, I simply call, I simply calculate scope, scope dot app dot params yeah. and now what was the app params <laughs> I should have remembered right piston position now I will, I will calculate the rotation angle first okay 
I will calculate the rotation angle first. Yeah? And this equals, all right, this equals, and I will, I have already this piston rod, I have already the rotation. This was what I was calculating. I will simply copy this, copy this, use it in my JavaScript. Yeah? And here, instead of value, I'm not using the value, of course, because there is no value, I'm using this. Yeah? I'm using dollar scope. You don't have to forget this dollar scope and then this. Yeah? Woo! Yeah? I'll make it a little bit more readable. Yeah? This is just for calculation from radiant to, to degree. Yeah? And actually, that's it. Yeah. So, in app bus, piston rod angle, we should have already the correct value. Yeah. And now we can also calculate the application parameter piston. Was it piston pause? Ah. Why am I always forgetting this? Yes, piston pause. Yeah. And here we also have this, this, this value in, 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 for instance, in the piston rod or the piston itself, uh, up down. Yeah? This is what we are calculating. Uh, hook. Okay. Zero to two. Then there is and I'm not using value again. I'm using again the encoder value here. And here I really do not have to use all this stuff. I will just use this. Yeah. All right. And ooh, what I really don't like is again. What I really don't like is that I have to calculate this. I will do it afterwards because otherwise, here I need it in ready end, and in the end, <clears throat> hmm. I think that's it. Save. Now every time, every time something changes, yeah, I will calculate those values. Yeah. Is this working or not? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. We will now simply the crankshaft, the crankshaft is okay, the piston rod, delete, delete, uh, piston rod angle is the rotation x, x rotation, fine, and piston position is the position y, fine, and piston position is the position y of here, and the other one is already gone, okay, is okay again, preview. Let's see if this is working or not. Looking good already. Working as good as before. Yeah? But now only with one calculation. Okay. Small so is enough. Yeah? Let's see, move this a little bit to here. Now rotate. See, it's working. It's working exactly the way it should be. But now with only one calculation, one time calculation here in the JavaScript, I calculate it once. Every time this value here is changing and that's it. 
right? I think this is a way of how to save battery. Good. No? The next things. Next things I want to, to do is put all those things together in one casing. Okay, design a casing where I put my where is it? Ah, somewhere. My big my big encoder, not this small one, my big encoder that we can move it with the battery inside and so on, that I can run around, go around with this handheld device then, and this handheld device is powering this and sending this to the, to the internet. All right? I will try to design a case for that, print that case, and then we will see if it's working or not. For this done. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.